Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my shop. This time I'm going to work on the ring leader. With the ring leader, I want to portray myself as a wealthy man in the wastelands who enslaves people and forces them to fight for their freedom in the wasteland warriors thunderdome. The ring leader would have a lot of wealth that he is not afraid to show off and because of that I'm going to deck it out with a lot of details that would have been considered powerful trading objects left behind from the old world to the wastelands. If you're not familiar with wasteland terminology, the old world is the current world we live in now and the wastelands is obviously what comes after whatever the fallout would be. Considering that I got a hold of a lot of old jewelry pieces and a decked out turtle shell that I'm all gonna anchor to the bike tire belt that I made in the previous episode. But before I get to all that I'm gonna distress the pants that will go with the fur coat which the belt will go on, which all the things will be anchored on, so on so on so on. Now these are the pants I'll be distressing. I already bleached them. I think I don't need to show you guys how to bleach something because the process of bleaching something is pretty straightforward. If you want to know how to bleach something, leave some comments down below and I might make a video on how to bleach this. Well, obviously not this because this is already bleached and I can't really re-bleach it. That's, that's pretty hard. So one good time lapse later, I have distressed the pants to the level which I like at this point. It might come a little bit more distressing later on. It also distresses itself when you wear it over a long period of time. But next I'm gonna make holes in the belt, just small ones, so that I can hang stuff from it. To make the holes I'm just gonna use this one, which looks like a small punk rocker or a punk rocking chicken. But it's a tool to make holes in belts, so I'm using that to make holes in my belt. So I've got a lot of the pieces that I wanted on the pants uh, fitted onto the belt. A lot of them broke as I was putting it on because I was using too much pressure and the chains uh, broke, so I would have to keep that in mind if I want to continue doing this. I wanted it to be a little messy when it's on there because I wanted it to look like uh, the ringleader has just put it on his belt because he has so much wealth, he just want to show it off, just slaps it on there, they can easily take it off and trade for a new fighter or a new slave and that's why I got this side with all the chains just messily hanging around and looking all, all easy and fuck you I got everything I need bitch. Now that I'm done detailing the pants, I'm going to move over to the fur coat. First of all, I'm going to show you the details I've already placed onto the fur coat. And then I continue with another detail that I want to put on the fur coat and so on. So moving over to the fur coat now. Here on the jaw bones on the collar, I've just added a little bit small details like this weird key that I don't know what would work for and also this bullet with a little bit of detailed beads on the string and on the opposite side I've done something similar I have a key right here decorated in beads on the string um, and further down I have another one of the bullets and then we come around to the back of the jacket I have this dreamcatcher style thing here made with half a baby's head which I cut in half burnt, distressed and screwed some screws into while freaking out my neighbors when I did this um, under it it has a decorative key with some uh, skull beads to decorate the string this matches the front this thing is actually made out of a clock found on a junkyard it obviously does not show time anymore it only shows terror next I'm gonna add this shoulder pad to it I've tried some things on it just to see if things work so I don't start making a video on how I do something that doesn't work uh, what I've done with this which I'm gonna do again now is I added a layer of this concrete kind of spray paint to give the rust texture and then I just painted on fake rust because this is a plastic shoulder piece 
So here's that spray I was using. This it gives like a concrete effect uh, texture on on the object. I'm not exactly sure what it is because I can't read German, but it's obviously for some some car thing. I found it and it does the job. So. So the reason I sprayed under is because this will stick out of a piece like so, so you will see the underside. So if you don't spray this, uh, it won't look as much as a dynamic full metal piece and I will expose that this is just all fake. Okay, here's the piece that I sprayed the texture spray concrete thing onto. It's not dried out and it has this weird feeling texture, like it is made of stone or concrete or something, it just adds to it no matter what. Now I'm gonna fake paint this rust, because obviously, if you didn't know already, plastic do not rust. Now there is a lot of ways to fake rust plastic. Um, my friends on Rad Roach Gear made a great little tutorial on how to make it with metal dust. I don't have metal dust, so I'm just gonna use the trustworthy old version, which is acrylic paint, and I'm gonna use brown, and orange as you can see here and i'm just gonna dry brush that onto this and yeah i will leave this rust effect uh, by coloring and with the texture you'll get it will feel like real rust as well so here we go the piece that i painted is now dried and it's ready to be put onto the jacket I'm liking how this looks. Actually, I haven't looked at it. I need the mirror. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. If you don't mind me saying that myself, how are you doing? So yeah, I'm liking how this jacket looks right now. I noticed that the shoulder pad. I don't know if you can see this. As you can see, it's hanging over the edge here. It, it, the, the problem is not that it's hanging over the edge, the problem is that I think it looks a little... It should have something on it, so I'm gonna put some dangly details on this. So that's the current update and the progress on the ringleader. It needs a little bit more details around the front and a little more details in general. It's really hard to weather and distress fur, but so detailing is the way to go. I'm Sean Winter of Winter Apocalypse, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.